Advertising folks like to label generations. Boomers, Generation X, Millennials, and now they call my generation Generation Z. These labels help them put us in baskets so they can group us by our unique wants and needs and more effectively sell us stuff. So we are Generation Z, the end of the alphabet. And that seems kind of appropriate because if you look around, there are some pretty terrifying things going on in the world. We got record temperatures all over the world. We got thunder snow, coral reefs dying, ice shelves falling into the ocean, the Cubs winning the World Series, combustible tap water, and a reality show star president. What's happening? Okay, so no poltergeist yet, but we do have these giant storms. And if you watch the news and commercials for clean coal and energy voters, it seems Generation Z is being sold the idea that either we're not really affecting the world with all our human activity, or if we are, it's too late to do anything about it. We're a group of youth filmmakers in New York City, and this all hit home for us in 2012. I mean, it literally hit our homes. Hurricane Sandy smashed us with a storm surge of 13.8 feet. We wanted to find out the truth about what happened, why this happened, and what our generation could do about it. This is our journey to find answers. We really didn't want to evacuate because we evacuated with Hurricane Irene and we thought um, we were okay to stay here, but um, my husband stayed back and me and the kids went to my mom's. When the water was coming so fast, my husband kind of started making phone calls to kind of say goodbye to us um, and his mom. He just thought, if this is it, he kind of made peace with it. To get the answers we were looking for, we needed experts. So we spoke to the guy who literally wrote the book on Superstorm Sandy. If there are evacuations called, people should evacuate. Many of the people killed in Sandy were people who were under evacuation orders and chose to stay. We've had about a foot of sea level rise in New York City since about 1900, of which maybe seven or eight inches is due to global warming. And that's the, the influence that we're going to see growing over time as the sea level continues to rise. As homes get repaired, I hope that they're getting repaired in a way to make them uh, more resilient to future storms. So elevated, without the utilities in the basement, sometimes even on stilts in some places, these things that make some of the homes that were destroyed less likely to be destroyed uh, or damaged as badly next time. This guy works for NASA, so you know he's super smart. Right now, we have committed ourselves to um, a different climate than the ones that our, you know, our ancestors grew up in. So the, the temperature of the sea is still responding to the heating produced by the increased greenhouse gases in the atmosphere from decades ago. Um, and, and if we just stopped emitting greenhouse gases today, you would still see the temperature go on increasing in, in, in the ocean increase for, um, for decades. I think New York believes that we're a city that can't be touched. So for Sandy to happen to us, we felt it was like really surreal. There weren't any more buses or trains. There was no public transportation. So I wasn't able to go to school for like a week. The young people today are the ones who are gonna have to deal with this problem. We as uh, the people who've been on the planet a little bit longer haven't done so well at acting based on our, you know, our children's interests above our own shorter term interests. But the younger generations uh, hopefully can understand this a little better because they're going to inherit this uh, planet. So this all seems pretty grim. I mean, it's a huge problem. And it doesn't seem like we can reverse it anytime soon. So is it hopeless? We're just kids. We don't even get to choose what we get for dinner or what times we go to bed, much less make big energy choices. So do we just give up? I gotta believe the answer is no. I gotta believe that we can make a difference. So we went out and found some other kids at the Green Schools Alliance and ACE that shared our sentiment. Uh, Alliance for Climate Education, or ACE for short, is an organization that works with educating the youth on climate change and what we can do to take actions against climate change. We have to start by taking action to those in older generations who aren't going to feel the impacts as much so that we can have a better future for ourselves and future generations. Um, I know that a lot worse storms are coming and that people need to be aware of 
our changing climate. So people should believe scientific studies more and not listen to the media. I hope people wake up and see that climate change is happening. People are losing lives in homes. Like, it's real. How can you not want to change this? How can you not want to help? It's important to know not to lose hope. If we don't stop, our CO2 emissions is only going to get worse. Storms are only going to get bigger. More people are going to lose their homes. We don't have a choice. We have to do something. I think we're the last generation to actually help stop climate change. Like, after us, I don't know. If we don't take a stand right now, it's only going to get worse. I'm not an expert. I don't pretend to be. But from my life experience, I feel like that so-called 100-year storm is more like a five-year storm, and um, that scares the heck out of me. I, unless you are throwing out everything your children have made you from preschool to that day, and communion pictures, and wedding pictures, and things that are stuff, but they mean something to you, unless you're throwing that all out, you can't, you can't understand what it feels like. And, Five days in advance, if they call for another hurricane, we're out of here. Adolescence is very much about figuring out who you are and what your values are. And maybe that is what this documentary needs to be about, about starting the discussion with older generations. I lower my footprint by taking shorter showers. About what our values are, about who we are and what we want to be. By riding a bicycle. Because we don't inherit the planet, we borrow it from our own kids. By using reusable water bottles and going vegetarian. About what products we buy, about the consumption choices we make, and about the leaders we choose. We need to make Generation Z, Generation Zero footprint. We are the last generation with the chance to stop climate change, the end of the alphabet. And we are going to do it. Get, Get educated, educated and activated. And activated. To find out more about what you can do, visit us at genzero.org.